Cruise around him out. Good job. Stupid taxi driver. Hey, how's it going there, guys and girls? Welcome back. So, yeah, a bit of an interesting morning. Uh, we've had a bit of an emergency at my work office, so I'm quickly just on my way there now. And it kind of got me thinking about some of the real benefits that motorcycles have to offer, real life benefits, apart from enjoyment and all that stuff, you know, apart from the hobby, it has some really, really other good stuff to offer. So let's jump right in. So perhaps the most obvious real life benefit that a motorcycle has to offer is exactly this scenario where there's an emergency and you got to get to that place ASAP. Yeah, it's a bit of a pain putting on your jacket, your gloves and your helmet, unlock your bike. It, it takes a little bit of time, but you more than make up for that time depending on how far you've got to go. You know, if it's only five minutes away, then you're probably not going to make up any time at all as opposed to driving there. But if it's like me where you've got a good half hour, 45 minutes to get to your emergency, then yeah, a motorcycle can seriously help you out. I mean, just, just sit sheerly by being able to overtake people. I mean, you know, just without any problems whatsoever, it's certainly one of those benefits that that you'll keep coming back to. I mean, especially someone like me who's almost always in a rush everywhere. <laughs> You're gonna be faster than everybody else, faster off the line, just faster in general than most other road users. So using a motorcycle really does make sense in this situation. I mean, there's a reason why motorcycles are used in a, a variety of applications. Blood bikes is a prime example. Military use. Yeah, used as scout. Uh, scout units. Police, of course. There's some very, very obvious benefits for a lot of applications for motorcycles. So, yeah, it's. <laughs> It's only when you actually start riding, is when you start using your motorcycle day in, day out, is when you start realizing what the benefits really are. I mean, just being able to filter is one of those things that, as well, is uh, such a... Uh, makes things so much easier. I mean, one, of course, because we're easing congestion by riding our bikes, but we also get to skip a load of traffic. So, win-win, eh? I know that's not how a lot of people see it, but... Yeah, win-win for bikers for sure. And of course, when you're when you're riding to your emergency, <laughs> well, I mean, in, in this in this instance, it's not that much of an emergency. I've just got to get into the office as quickly as I can. But I'm able to enjoy myself whilst I'm doing it. So if the priority is necessarily to get to your destination as quickly as you can well you are able to enjoy yourself quite an awful lot Woo! <laughs> on your bike on your way there it's kind of wicked really yeah I wouldn't trade this for anything no way yeah I mean let me know in the comments, guys and girls, if there have been any occasions where your motorcycle is coming very, very handy. You know, has there been a time where you have to get you or you have to get someone else to a destination very, very quickly? I remember there was one instance where my one of my one of my friends were joining the army and they were heading. I think it was their like first day of boot camp or something like that. I, I can't remember. It was, it was something, and they had to travel to Aldershot in London, and they were meant to be catching a train there. And 
they missed the bloody train <laughs> they missed the train like absolute morons they missed the train and so they thought right who's going to be the person that's going to be able to get me to london the quickest and bearing in mind this was in the west country as well i was in the west country or we were in the west country so it's no short distance having to get from here to london i don't know what is it like 100 miles 100 miles there and back something like that a couple of hours drive i managed to get them there in an hour and a half <laughs> From, from picking them up, I mean. From, from picking them up, going to London, I managed to pick them up in an hour and a half. Luckily, my fuel was all stocked up, so I was all good to go. And this was years ago, man. This is such a long time ago. Over 10 years ago, I, I think. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they was, it's quite funny because they're really appreciative and they say thank you and all that for taking them. But yeah, they uh, they did say that when they got there, <laughs> the officer that was meant to be looking after them when they arrived, they said, "Oh, most people would just wouldn't bother showing up. They just come out on, on a different day." <laughs> so I mean, th there is that, but they they really really wanted to get to this event on that particular day, so I felt obliged to help. You know, didn't get any fuel money or anything like that, but doing it just for the enjoyment of it and again that's one of those instances where a motorcycle comes in very very handy I know this person is doing what like 30 mile an hour in a 50 wow okay this is uh, kind of rough you know go on dotty ah good damn it there we go there's not a benefit right there whenever you get stuck behind Karens and Dotties. <laughs> you can quickly overtake them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when, when you start adding into the mix all the other stuff, guys, like just the satisfaction, the mental health benefits that motorcycles have to offer, and all that stuff, yeah, you, you are in for a treat in for a real treat with motorcycles so yeah if you're not riding or you're thinking about riding go for it now is as good a time as any to get into the world of motorcycles so definitely definitely get stuck in go and check out our videos on how to ride a motorcycle if you need some pointers We've got some really good tutorials on our channel of clutch control and the basics of riding and all that so i'll leave them up in the top corner for you or i'll put them up on the end screen as well so yeah yeah definitely definitely give it a go guys i mean if you're following the channel then you obviously have an enthusiasm or a passion for motorcycles which is absolutely great so definitely do not be afraid to jump on a motorcycle and get started because yeah it's one of those hobbies at least for me that i can never put down and especially the kind of bikes that you ride you know there's such a variety of motorcycles out there to ride that you will have an endless supply of different experiences and that's the most wonderful thing you know it's not like you ride one bike you've ridden all of them it, you, you do get such a massive difference in experience between two different bikes so yeah it's certainly certainly worth doing there's a lot a lot to love about it so i wouldn't want you missing out anyway guys and gals i'm stuck in a little bit of traffic here so uh cyclist so i'm gonna let you all go but yeah thank you ever so much for joining me on today's ride it's actually a nice day for once so that's that's always nice yeah had, had a bit of trouble recently with with riding around i seem to be catching the rain a lot at the moment but yeah today's been a good day so I'm happy. Hopefully you guys are happy as well. And yeah, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe as always. If you want to support the channel, leave a comment down below about what you feel or how you feel. And yeah, we will catch you all in the next video, guys and gals. Have a good one. <coughs> I think I just wanted to fly.
<coughs> Just as I was doing the outro. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. That will happen as well, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that's funny, isn't it? Especially in the summer, but there you go. Yeah, anyway, what was I saying? We'll catch you in the next one, guys and girls. Thanks again for watching. Ride safe. Ha, 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 ha.